Hi and welcome back to this channel. Today we're going to talk about Laravel. More specifically we're going to check out how to uh, install Laravel globally on our machine. We're going to create a new project with it. We're going to use Artisan, the built-in command line interface of Laravel to create new controllers. Also with the uh, resources extension to it, we're going to create new models and migration files. This will be a quick one, so let's dive into it. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is install Laravel on our machine globally. Um, we're going to do this as described on the website of Laravel itself. We're going to use Composure to install um, Laravel. So we're going to copy this and just paste it in, in our terminal. Uh, Composure Global require Laravel installer. This will install Laravel on your machine globally. Uh, of course, I already have this on my machine, so I have nothing to install or update. Once it's installed, we can use the command laravel new um, and then the name of our project. In this case, just going to write test project. This will create um, a laravel project for us with all the needed files included. So this could take a while. All right, and at the end it will say application ready, build something amazing. So that's what we're going to do right now. So when we open our Atom, um, I have the complete folder with the complete project in here. So basically we have an uh, environment file which in indicates all the custom settings of our application. We have an app folder with HTTP, it's in here that the controller will live. Um, also the models are included in here. So this is a clean install with just the um, needed files to run an application in Laravel. All right, so now Laravel is installed and we have our project ready to run. Um, we can make use of Artisan. Artisan is a command line interface um, included within Laravel. So we just need to type in, uh, just need to navigate to the um, test project. In here we can use PHP Artisan. Um, a simple command Artisan serve, this will create uh, a temporary local host for our application. So if we navigate to uh, this IP address, we get our Laravel instance. We hit Ctrl C to quit. All right, so the next thing that we're going to have a look at is how to create um, a controller. So in here we can use PHP artisan make semicolon controller. The next thing that we're going to type in is the name of our controller. So I'm going to go for product controller. If we hit enter, the controller has been created correctly. So if we go back to our code in controllers, we have now have an empty product controller. Now there is another way to create a controller um, by using actually the same command. And this time we're going to name it category. Category controller um, dash dash resource. All right, so this will give us a category controller, but this time not an empty one, but one with the resource functions in it, like index create, store, show, edit, update, and destroy. This makes our life easy because, yeah, we don't need to um, manually create all those routes. Now, speaking of routes, um, we will cover that in another video. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is create a model. So PHP artisan make model. Now we can, we give it a name. We can also create an empty model just like this. But we, if we indicate um, dash M, after it, this will also create a migration file for us. Now, why do I want uh, a cr to create my model included with a migration file? Well, it's actually pretty basic. Uh, 
this migration file uh, gives me the opportunity to add uh, all my need records in my table for that model. So for instance, I can go in, in here and I can write uh, a string, uh, let's say product name, I want an underscore and I can make it nullable, for example. And whenever this migration has been run, yeah, I get my tables that I want in my database, just plain and correctly. Uh, a migration can be run by uh, PHP Artisan Migrate, but this will give us an error right here because we don't have a database installed right now. But running migration on a live database is one of those things that we'll be covering on one of our next videos. So basically what we have done here is uh, we have installed Laravel globally on our machine. We have created a new Laravel project. Um, we've seen how to create controllers. We have seen how to create controllers with a uh, resource, functions already baked into it. Uh, and we have seen how to create a model with a migration file ready for us. We are preparing a course, um, a course where we have a web shop build up from scratch in Laravel with payment integration, email integration, uh, all those kind of cool stuff that will be available soon here on this platform. So stay tuned and get your code on and build something awesome. Let's go.